Hello friends, it's me yet again. This is just an update on the process or the progress of my current uh, project. So yeah, in a previous video, I showed a 37.4% increase in speed with the use of uh, something like this, a double helix um, air vein. And with my, well, what I learned actually uh, playing around with this tapered design is that if I only have one of these helixes, it actually increases the speed even more. So the original one was eight inches long. This one is 16 inches long. And then I added the inner tube. My goal is just to keep improving and keep trying different things. And uh, eventually I'll get uh, to, um, well, something that will look like this, kind of. This is like uh, the Victor Schauberger design. This is, uh, somebody else made this one. This one isn't really, well, it doesn't really work very well. Although I haven't measured it very well either. I designed a new um, propeller that's much more sensitive. It, uh, as you can see, I soldered it together and it rests on a pin needle. So yeah, I'll just turn this on and show you. So it takes a while to speed up, but eventually it does. So yeah, I don't know why it goes so much faster with just one of these veins as opposed to two. And then with adding the tube, that increased it even more, like a dramatic acceleration. Whereas in my previous video, that didn't happen really. There was uh, there was a tiny increase, like over over the tube, the double helix with the, the inner tube and the outer tube. See, there was only a 0.4 RPM increase. So yeah, I'll just take a reading now. Sixty-one? Sixty, holy. Sixty-one RPM. Fifty-seven, it jumps around a little bit. Fifty-nine, three. 60.1, 61.3, Okay, well, we'll leave it at that. That's even faster than like what I recorded the first time. So it's actually probably more around 100% increase so basically it spins at twice as fast as it would if there was no um, spiral uh, inside and no little inner tube. If this tube was empty, in other words, it would only spin this uh, propeller half as fast. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart now and I'll film it when it's empty and you'll see the difference. Okay, here's the exact same tube once again, and it's empty as you can see. I'll turn it on and we will measure the speed of the propeller. Thirty-four point four. 